<laughs> okay. Hey there, Facebook friends. Uh, I'm Sid Evans. I'm the editor in chief of Southern Living Magazine, and we're here in the Southern Living Test Kitchen Studios today. Uh, we have been running a contest to look for the next great Southern cook. So we put out a call on Facebook and elsewhere asking people to send us videos of themselves making a recipe. And we looked at hundreds of videos to pick the best one. And the winner of that contest is standing here with me today. His name is Logan. Hi, Logan. How are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> How are you? So I'm great. Uh, Logan happens to be from my hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, and he is 13 years old. And he sent us a fantastic video of uh, a shrimp and grits recipe that really knocked our socks off. Uh, and we're going to have that video for you guys uh, coming soon. Uh, but today, we are going to be making uh, some blueberry lemonade. Uh, so we'll get to that in a second. But, but first of all, how do you get to be such a good cook uh, at the age of 13? Well, it really all started <laughs> at 2 when uh, Mom had me make her morning coffee. So I would At kinda, 2? Yeah, at 2. <laughs> uh, you, okay. When you think about coffee, it's not that hard to do. Uh -huh. It's just the, the filter and then the two scoops and the pour of the water and then the press of the button. The, the, the button press. Okay, that's, like, that's about all I can do. And uh, then it just kind of escalated from there at 8. I, uh, I went on the Jif Most Creative Peanut Butter Sandwich Contest, and uh, I got runner-up in that, and I made this really delicious peanut butter turkey burger. Yeah. And it was very complicated, so <laughs> I, can't, I can't take you through it. So, so this isn't your first rodeo winning a, a contest like this. I mean, you actually you went and met uh, President Obama. Yeah, I did. And the first lady. Yeah, I won the, uh, the first ever Kids State Dinner uh, Healthy Lunchtime Challenge contest, and uh, that was pretty cool. I made this, like, tuna quinoa salad, and it was, like, really healthy and just great. And uh, then I, I won for the state of Tennessee, and I got to go eat uh, lunch at the White House. That's amazing. So, uh, so what are some of the things that you like to cook? I mean, what are oh. just a couple things? I mean, what's your favorite thing that you just love to cook? Well, I really love to cook meat, seafood, southern dishes, and uh, I do some barbecue. Now, I'm not going to tell you that I'm well, you're, the best. Well, you're a Memphis guy, so you got to yeah. do barbecue. Yeah, you got to try at least. Yeah. So let's get started on lemonade. Yeah. We got our blueberries here. And so we're just going to pour those into our bowl, and then we're going to muddle them. So we got our little muddler thing, and we're just going to try and like get in there and really, really unleash the, uh, the flavor of the blueberry. Yeah. So, so it's, the, it's the heat of summer, right? We're in Alabama. It's warm outside. You know, it's the time to drink lemonade. You don't necessarily always have time to make your own lemonade. So we're using some store-bought lemonade yeah. here, right? Yeah, yeah, you don't need to be too fancy on homemade lemonade. It's just kind of, you know, just a lemonade. Uh, you don't really need to make your own. I mean, it does help. I'm not going to say that you shouldn't, but if you just don't have the time, I mean, it's okay. So this is a way to just kind of spruce up uh, your, your, basic, your basic lemonade. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So you're using blueberries today, some fresh blueberries. Yeah, I'm, I'm using my blueberries. And, but, you know, you could also use, like, strawberries, peaches, pretty much whatever's in season. Okay. Now, how much, how much are you muddling the blueberries there? Are you really trying to smash them to bits? Or are you, uh, or are no, you... I'm trying to leave a little bit of the blueberries, you, you know, because uh, they're just really nice, and I don't want them to be, like, pulverized. Okay. Because then they, they get, like, little flecks in the lemonade. Right. So they're either kind of mushy like this, or they're, like, whole. Great. So I think it's about time that we can add them. I think them we're in. about ready? I think we're about ready to add them into our lemonade. Here. Okay. Just dump them in there. Yeah. Now this is going to really give our, our store-bought lemonade a lot more flavor. And, uh, yeah, you know. So what are your proportions there? You've got about like maybe, maybe two cups of two, blueberries? Two cups of blueberries. And then you muddle them up. You might want to give this a stir here. Okay, let's do that. All right. Now we're going to add in some. Why don't we put this out here? Yeah. So we got our basil here. Now this, this. Smells great, fresh. Now we're going to tear it. Now by tearing it, we're going to like really unleash some of the oils and some of the flavor in this to just, I mean, give it more flavor. 
Okay, that's already looking really good. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get some ice in these glasses. All right. All right, so Logan, you got to tell me a little bit about the bow tie. Oh, my bow ties? Well, I, I try and wear one almost every day. I mean, I don't know a lot of 13-year-olds wearing a bow tie. Oh, uh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> you know, they, being in the, in the South, you know, you, you come in contact with a bunch. So have you got a collection of bow ties? Yeah, I, I don't know the amount, the, the exact number of bow ties I have, but... I think I have like 30 or 40 maybe. <laughs> okay. I got a lot. That's a lot more than I have. And, That's uh, great. Uh, okay, are we getting close? Yeah, we got one last ingredient to add here. We got some black pepper. Now, it may seem a little strange. Yeah, you got to explain this. So all we're right. putting some black pepper in the lemonade. Yeah. What's that all about? Well, the black pepper, it just kind of gives us this, this, it just kind of gives it the spice and unleashes some of the vibrancy of everything. And I mean, it, it's... And how, much, and how much black pepper you got in there? Is that about uh, uh, a teaspoon, a little about more? about half a tablespoon, maybe. Oh, okay. So, All right. I mean, we, we, really, we really want some black pepper in here. Okay. Uh, maybe a little, little bit more basil. Gives it a little bit of kick? Yeah. Gives it a little, a little something, because otherwise you just have, like, blueberry and basil. All right. Are we ready to pour? I think we are. All right. We have we a couple questions for you, Logan. All right. Uh, we, it sounds like we have a question. Oh. oh, where's your favorite place to get fresh produce? My favorite place to get fresh produce? I'd say the Agri Center has a lot of great pro produce. I mean, there's all those great farmer's markets that you can go to, and there's just a lot of good stuff there. Okay. Uh, you have any tip for kids that are having their own lemonade stands this summer? Oh, I, I do have a tip for all you kids out there who are having a lemonade stand. You, you serve this lemonade here, this, this fancy fancy lemonade. Oh, you can charge more. I know, you can of charge course. like a dollar. <laughs> a that's dollar a, more. That's a great tip. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's give it a try. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That is fantastic. How did you develop this recipe, Logan? Well, uh, when, when I was kind of playing around in my kitchen, I kind of thought of like uh, some other lemonades, like I do like a blackberry rosemary, or yeah, blackberry rosemary one. And I just thought, you know, blueberry basil sounds great. And, of course, I had to add the black pepper to it. So, yeah, the pepper doesn't really come through no. in a strong way, um, but it just kind of gives it a little bit of, of, of bite or something. Yeah, it gives it that little, that little something that comes kind of in the back and a little bit on the front. A little zing. A little, yeah, a little something. A little zing. Uh, I think you might be able to charge buck fifty for that. I definitely yeah. think that you could charge like a dollar or two more, you know? So, uh, well, this is fantastic, Logan. Thanks for, thanks for coming by. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, congratulations on uh, winning the, our, our next great Southern Chef. Uh, we're going to have a uh, piece in the magazine uh, coming out this fall. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, and we're also going to roll out uh, Logan's video of uh, his fantastic shrimp and grits recipe. So that's going to be coming soon. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Yeah, thank you guys for, uh, for enjoying a glass of lemonade with us. And uh, be sure to follow me on all the social media. It's all Logan Jr. Chef. It's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that great stuff. Please go follow me. Oh, we, have, we might have another question. Oh, the questions are coming. Okay, let's bring all it right. on. Oh, well, today uh, I made uh, this great meatloaf quesadilla. It's like, for those of you who like made meatloaf and then like really enjoy it, but then you have leftover meatloaf. And then you're like, well, what do I do with it? Well, you turn it into a quesadilla for lunch. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I have some meatloaf in the fridge right now, so <laughs> I'm going to do that. That's a great idea. Yeah. Do you ever teach any of your friends how to cook? Oh, uh, I don't ever teach any of my friends how to cook. They... You know, they, they think it's cool sometimes. They're like, man, you can cook. That's pretty cool. And usually I get stuck with, like, making popcorn and stuff. So it, <laughs> they just don't appreciate it yet. They're gonna, they'll get there, don't no, worry. No, they, they don't really ask for anything <laughs> fancy. They're just like, man, you, you know, you're the, you're the chef kid. You should go make popcorn or something. So I got a question. Just tell me a couple of your favorite places in Memphis. Oh, gosh. Well, I will tell you one of my favorite places is Elwood Shack. And uh, now, 
there's this really cool thing that's going on with Elwood Shack and me. Now, I have a burger up for James Beard nomination. Now, it's uh, this mushroom burger, so I did a little secret stuff to it. I mean, it's not, it's not just straight mushrooms. There's some other stuff in there, too. And, of course, I have a special seasoning for it. My, my steak seasoning, now, that is good. But uh, I'm gonna, they're going to be serving my burger, and uh, go for, vote for my blended burger. And this is at, what, what's the name of the place? Elwood Shack. Elwood Shack. Yeah. Great. Okay, cool. Any other questions? Just one more question. Um, if you're not, if you are going to buy a store-bought lemonade, what's your favorite kind to buy? Oh, well, my favorite kind, uh, i got to say, is uh, the Simply Lemonade. I like that one. It's just really simple and nice, and it, it really pairs great with anything that I... And that's what, we, that's what we use for this recipe, and yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a perfect, perfect match with the blueberries. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Cheers, Logan. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us.